Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for yesterday. And I'm thanking you in advance, even for our gathering of tonight. You are all warmly welcome to part two of our two-part series with a theme titled Shut Up and Shut Down. Our text of yesterday is where we're going to begin again tonight. But before we do so, whatever platform you are listening to us on or watching us on, we'd like for you to do us a big favor. And that is to share the link with your friends, with your loved ones, whether it's on the podcast or it's on Facebook or YouTube or whichever platform, we will be grateful if you will share the link. And the reason we ask for this all the time is because others need to be blessed through you. Others need to be blessed through me. So do us that big favor. You might be changing somebody's life by letting them know and by asking them to join us tonight. Father, bless us as we're about to read the Bible. We'll pray that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will be upon this gathering tonight. Touch everyone around the world. Gather together with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our text yesterday was in the book of Joshua. And I'm going to read the whole text. And there are other scriptures that I'm going to read to you tonight. Now Jericho chapter 6 verse 1 was strictly shut up. That's where I got the shut up from. Because of the children of Israel, none went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shall ye do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout. And the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up, every man straight before him. May God add his blessing to the reading of his holy word. I don't want to repeat all the things that I said on yesterday. But there's an important issue that I promised you last night that we are going to revisit tonight. I'm going to do this because of how important it is and because of how, unfortunately, we neglect this very important aspect of possessing our possessions. Here's what it is. There was the promise. But before the promise could be realized, there was a divine procedure to be followed. Listen, for everything you are going through, there is a war strategy that heaven knows will work. It's not every war strategy will work in every war, but God knows the how to get to your promised land, and you need to ask him for it. Listen, for every wall that is keeping you from your promised land, there is a war plan in the mind of God that can work 
better than any plan you can come up with in any war college in the world. You just need to find out what to do and God in his mercy will download the divine strategy for you. That was what he did for them concerning the walls of Jericho. And what was the ultimate result? The wall fell. He told them step by step. I wish I had time to really go through what he said verse by verse. But he gave them clear direction, clear direction. After he promised them you're going to win, then he told them this is how to win. The Lord said, I've given you the land of Jericho, but there are some things you got to do. There are some strategies you have to put in place. Number one, go around the city. And then he said, who should go around the city? All ye men of war. That means the women were exempted. And they were to go around the city one time for six days. Specific instructions. You know what I pray for myself? That in everything and in anything that will face me in life, I will be able to get specific direction as to what to do, what steps to take. And he said, when you do that for six days, then he says, seven priests shall bear before the ark seven prophets, seven trumpets of ram's horns. If they took eight priests, they will not win. If they took six priests, they will not win. If they took golden trumpet, they will not win. They had to follow God's direction. He said, what you need is rams on. And then he said on the seventh day, if they went to eighth day or ninth day, they will never win this war. He said, on the seventh day, ye shall compass the city seven times. If they compass the city eight times on the seventh day, the war will be lost. And the priest shall blow with the trumpet. If the prophets blew with the trumpet, the war will not be won. Very specific directions. You know what you and I need? Whatever battle is facing you on your job, in your business, in your marital life, in your employment, you need direction from God. What do you want me to do? Exactly. Write it down. And if you will follow what God told you to do, you will be fine. And so it came to pass that when they made a long blast with the ram's horn, you know the rest of the story. This is extremely, extremely essential. Every battle that you need to fight, there is a war strategy that God knows. Please, I plead with you tonight, never ever forget this truth. You're trying to have a baby and you are delayed. Go check from God. God has promised that none shall be barren in thy land. But you've got to find out from God, what is the strategy? You are having some issues that you don't know what the what the way out is. Go and find out, God, this battle is facing me. I don't know the way out. Could you please tell me what to do? Let me tell you of somebody that I heard of who was having issues with getting a baby. They got married. They had a fantastic wedding reception, but baby never came. One year turned into two, two years Two years turned into three. Three years turned into four. And they were praying and they were praying. I'm doing battles. I'm doing warfare. Going to doctors here and there. And the doctor said, there's nothing wrong with this girl. There's nothing wrong with you, man. They said, we don't know why you cannot get pregnant. Then they, somebody told them, stop. Go and ask God what the strategy should be for you to use in order to win this war to get pregnant. You will be surprised what God told them. Do you want to hear what God told them? Oh my, God knows the way through your wilderness. You know what God told them? God told this couple, go and buy a crate of Fanta. Yeah, you heard me right. 
soda drink, soft drink, buy a whole crate and go and give it to your mother-in-law. Because on the day of the wedding, she was angry with the people serving food that they never gave her Fanta. You know what they call Fanta? Yeah, it's a soft drink. So they said, that's it. And God said, that's it. That's all you need. Well, they went and bought a crate. They didn't buy two crates. They didn't buy half a crate. They bought one crate by divine direction. Took it to Mama. Mama saw it. Mama said, hey, my children. The door is open for you. Go and have your children. The door is open for you. Go and have your children. Because the day you got married, I was angry. You did not give me fatter. You gave everybody fat. What is the fatter going to do for Mama? But that's why she blocked them. Listen, there is divine direction for every battle that you are involved in. Find out from God. Heaven will open your ears. Heaven will open your eyes. Heaven will open your understanding to know what and what to do to easily get to your promised land. So you will not just be trying this and trying that. The Bible is full of examples of divine guidance like he gave to Joshua, like the soda drink called Fanta that he gave to the person who finally got his own children. They are guaranteed to always walk. Did you hear what I said? They are guaranteed to always walk. Let me read some of them to you before we go to God tonight to pray. Exodus chapter 15, in verse 23. Moses and Israel, they were marching through the wilderness. They got to a place where the water was bitter, and the people were angry because the water was not sweet. So they came to a place called Mara in Exodus 15. And the people murmured as usual against Moses. And they said, what are we going to drink? What are you going to give us to drink? So what Moses did was this, in verse 25, and he cried unto the Lord. And that's what I want you to pray to do tonight. I want you to cry to the Lord. If there's any bitterness in your life, and when I mean bitterness, I'm, I'm not saying bitterness in your heart. I'm talking about things that make you very sad, very sorrowful, that trouble you. There is a solution. God has a solution. You know what God said to Moses? He said, look at this tree. Look at that tree. He said, go and cut that tree and throw it into the waters. He said, once you throw that tree into the waters, the water will be sweet. And that was what he did. He went and cut the tree, threw it inside the water, and just like that, the water became sweet. You know what amazed me? The tree had been there all the time, and Moses had no idea. Listen to me, precious. The solution to your problem may be closer to you than you know. If you will only ask God, show me the solution. The Lord will show you and your sad, bitter, unpleasant experiences. God will turn them into sweetness. Do you remember the man called Naaman, Naaman, Naaman the Syrian warrior that went to Elisha because he was leprous? What did Elisha tell him? Divine direction. God said through Elisha, let him go to River Jordan. All right, let him wash in River Jordan seven times and his flesh shall come again and they shall be clean. What? No prayer? No. No fasting? No. You just need to know what to do. And of course he was angry, he said there are other rivers. Well, my friend, if you go and Bathe in other rivers, you will never be well. If I know you have good swimming pool in your house, but if you bathe in the swimming pool seven times, you will never be well. It's Jordan. Go to Jordan seven times, all right? If you bath six times, you will never be well. Old. If you bath eight times, you will never be well. Old. Seven times, he obeyed at last. And what happened to him? Divine direction solved his problem. There was another one in 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 6. They went to cut some, uh, uh, some trees to make their dormitory. These were 
prophets. These were sons of prophets. Well, they got there, they were cutting a stick with an axe, and you remember the story. The head of the axe fell into the water. Axe became useless. You know what Elisha did? Elisha did not say, night vigil, night vigil. Get the swimmers, get the people that are doing fishing. No, 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 no. He said, God, how do we get this thing out? You know what God told him? <laughs> he said, cut down a stick, throw it into the water. I'll give you a miracle. And just like that, the axe head that is supposed to sink began to swim. Oh my, another divine instruction. Another divine guidance. They always solve problems. Oh, remember the man that came to Jesus? He was blind. Jesus could have said, go home. And he could have seen. He could have been well. But this time Jesus never did that. You know what the Lord did? The Lord spat on the ground. He made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said, go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And he went to the pool of Siloam. He washed and he came back saying, glory to God, divine instruction, divine direction. You need a miracle? Have you asked God what to do? Do you know what the, the man they call R.W. Shambach? was a man of God from Tyler, Texas. He used to hold crusades all over the country, especially in Staten Island in New York. He told a story I'll never forget. He was praying for people one day and a blind black woman came to him. And as he wanted to lay a hand on the black woman, the black, woman, the black blind woman said to him, please don't pray for me, just spit on my face. And R.W. Shambach said, he said to himself, what? Spit on your face? I've never done that to anybody. The lady said, well, God told me that's what you have to do in order for me to see. The man said, no, I'm not going to do that. And the lady said, you got to do that or else I'm not going to leave the prayer line. Well, they were arguing back and forth and God spoke to Shamba. Says, stop arguing with him. Do what she said. Spit on, his, on her face. And Shambach said, in his funny, characteristic way, and said, Madam, you are the one who asked for the spitting. And then he went, <clears throat> I mean, he really got good spittle out of his nostril, bang, on, his, on her eyes. Guess what happened? She began to see divine direction. Have you got divine direction for what you are going through? Seriously. You need it to be able to get your miracle. Let me tell you something else that you probably know already. There are some antidotes that witchcraft ties to the wickedness they do to us. Even if you don't pray, all right? But you know the antidote and you use the antidote, you'll be fine from their curse. For example, if they put a curse on you, and while they were putting the curse on you, they wore their dress inside out. You know how people wear dresses inside out? All right. And they say, this curse that I'm putting on Janet, this curse I'm putting on James, it will never be reversed unless he prays with his dress turned inside out. And then you get divine direction. And God says, don't worry about it. Just go and turn your dress inside out, put it on, and go and... Uh, and go and pray about, about what the problem is. There and then the yoke will break. I, I can tell you stories. I can tell you stories. Tell you stories upon stories. There are many things that will make it easy, easy for you to receive your blessing and your miracle if you can just follow divine directions. I can give you many examples, but we don't have the time. But it is obvious that there is a way out in the mind of God, out of every situation where we find ourselves. You know what my prayer for you tonight is this, that God, as a result of the prayers of tonight, will show you your own way of escape. Did you hear what I said? There is a way of escape. The one that is meant for Jimmy may not be the one that is meant for James. 
But if you will find out from God, how do I conquer my wall of Jericho? God will tell, he may not tell you to march around for six days. Your only may tell you to march around only for four days. But he has the divine direction that will give you the victory in whatever is facing you. This is beautiful. And this is where we're going to focus on all through the prayers of tonight. Lord, what is the strategy? Lord, what is the way out for me? If God will reveal it to you, if God will give it to you, your victory will come just like that. Are you ready to pray? Well, if you are ready to pray, God is ready to answer. Let's go before God with thanksgiving and say, Lord, I thank you for another Friday oh, that you have allowed me to see tonight. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I adore you. Lord, I honor you. Come on, bless his holy name. Come on, worship him. Come on, adore him. Say, Lord, I thank you. It's another Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And for many of you, it's uh, Saturday morning. That's all right. But bless the name of the Lord for this. Friday that he has allowed you to see so we can call on him in the name of Jesus. Thank him for how he has kept you all week, for how he has protected you all week long. Many of you have escaped dangers and you never knew that you escaped dangers. Just thank God. Say, oh Lord, the dangers that I know, the dangers that I don't know, the dangers that I see, the dangers that I don't see. I thank you, Lord God, for the escape and your protection upon my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I wanted to bless his name for the prayers of last night. Wow. Bless him in advance also for the prayers of tonight. Last night was good. This night will even be greater. Father, I will bless you because you are prayer answering God. Unto thee shall all flesh come. Glory be to your name, honor be to your name, dominion be to your name. Thank him for the promises of God. Thank him for the plans of God. Thank him for the possessions of God that he has in mind for you. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God has reserved for you, your wife, your husband, your children, your business and your entire household. Tomorrow shall be better than today. Yes, tomorrow shall be greater than today. Yes, thank him for the promises. Thank him for the plans. Thank him for the possessions that he has in your future. There's something in your future that God has prepared. You will enter into the future and have them by the grace of God. Thank him because they are yours already, though you have not possessed them yet. I wanted to say, Lord, I thank you for your blessings that are mine already. Even though they are not in my hand physically yet, I believe they are mine. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you because of the great things that you are going to do for me. I thank you for the great blessings that you are going to release into my life. They are mine already, though I'm not possessing them yet, but I know I will possess. Thank God that he will use the prayers of tonight to take you to your divine destination, to your divine appointment, to your divine blessings, to your divine possessions. Say, oh Lord, I thank you in advance because what you have done is you have promised me and you will take me to that promised land by power, by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you because I'm entering in into my possession. I'm entering in into my promised land. Thank him for the very important dimension that we are exploring tonight. Yes, a very important dimension we are exploring tonight. Glory to God. I want you to thank him for it. Thank him because he knows the way through your wilderness and he will surely, 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 surely lead and guide you to the place where you need to get your blessings. Thank God because he knows how you will get there. Thank God because he knows who, how you will, how he will put it together for you to have what you need to have. Papa, glory be to your name, honor be to your name, dominion be to your holy name, O God. Father, accept our thanks because you are taking me to the place where I will have what I need to have, where I will achieve what I need to achieve. I will not remain like this forever if I can just know the way. The way is what I need to know. I know where I want to go. I know what I want to have, but I need to know the way to get there. I want you to thank him because he will lead you. He knows the way through the wilderness. Say, oh Lord, I thank you because you will lead me step by step. You will guide me step by step. In the name
name of Jesus. I want you to pray that God will give us problem-solving prayer points tonight. Did you hear what I said? Problem-solving prayer points tonight. Say, oh Lord, on this prayer line this evening, give us problem-solving prayer points. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to come against sin and unbelief in your life. Say, oh Lord, don't allow sin to hinder me. Don't allow unbelief to hinder me tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to pray that any sin of omission, any sin of commission in your heart, any sin in word, any sin in thought, any sin in deed, the blood of Jesus. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus tonight that they will not hinder me, oh God. Sin will not hinder me, oh God. Unbelief will not hinder me, oh God. Doubt will not hinder me, oh God. Double-minded will not hinder me, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that the Lord will just remove all sins, all unbelief from your life, all doubt, all double-mindedness. Let them be taken far from me, O oh God. In the main name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, can I ask you to pray for strength? Without him, we can do nothing. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. Even to be able to pray for the next 30 minutes, it will take the strength of God. Oh Lord, give me strength to stay awake tonight. Give me strength to pray intensely tonight because it is the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man and of a righteous woman that availeth much. Papa, strengthen me to pray. Papa, empower me to pray. Papa, energize me to pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray tonight that nothing will hinder our prayers, that nothing will block the line. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Entrance is never busy. Oh, always on the line. The Lord is always on the line. Father, prove that you're on the line for us tonight by hearing us, by answering us, and all problems in the airwaves, all problems of data, all problems of internet. Papa, remove them out of our way so we can be heard, so we can be answered. In the name of Jesus, strength to stay awake. Papa, give it to me tonight. Strength to stay alive. Lot. Even as I pray, Papa, give it to me tonight in the name of Jesus. I want us to focus on knowing what to do for the next 40 something prayer points. That's all we are going to pray. We might repeat ourselves deliberately for emphasis, but you just pray what I tell you to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, my Father, say, Oh Lord, my Father, as you showed Joshua what it needs to do. In in order to defeat Jericho. Oh Lord, show me what I need to do, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Mention the things that you want to hear God do for you. Maybe you need to get married. Say, oh Lord, show me what I need to do to get my own wife, my own husband. Show me what I need to do, oh Lord, to get my visa. Show me what I need to do, oh God, to get my own business. Show me what I need to do, oh God, to build my own house. Papa, give me the strategy. Open my eyes to see, open my ears to hear, oh God. Mention those things that concern you tonight. The things that concern you tonight that you need from God. Say, oh Lord, I need this, mention it. I need that, mention it. I need that other one, mention it. Say, oh Lord, show me like you should Joshua, in the name of Jesus. Show me like you should Moses, in the name of Jesus. So it will be easy for me to get my victory. So it will be easy for me to get to my promised land. Papa answer prayer, Papa answer prayer, Papa answer prayer, Papa answer prayer, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, 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 pray this evening. Mention those things that you want, places that you want to go. For Joshua, it was the land of Jericho that he wanted to go, and God gave him the strategy. Say, oh Lord, where I want to go, I don't want to go in my own wisdom, oh, I don't want to go in my own understanding. I don't want to go in the advice that my friends will give 
mean, I want to go in the advice of God. I want to go in the leading of God. I want you to pray tonight, Lord, help me, lead me, guide me. Mention those areas to God where you need guidance, where you need direction into the promised land. Mention them to God. Mention them to God. Look, there is no problem without divine solution. Can I ask you to say that to your father tonight? Say, my father, say, I know you enough to know that there is no problem without divine solution. Hallelujah. Oh, that there is no problem in my life that does not have divine solution. In the name of Jesus, say, my father, bless your name because you have solution to every problem. You have solution to every need. I want you to open your mouth and say, my father, let me not be denied. Papa, let me not be denied. Papa, let me not be denied. Let me know the solution to what I'm facing. Let me know the solution to what is facing me. Let me know the solution to what I'm going through. Joshua knew the solution because you showed him. Moses knew the solution because you showed him. Elisha knew the solution because you showed him. Jesus knew the solution to the blind man's problem because you showed him. Papa showed me like you showed them. Papa showed me like you showed them. Whatever problem is in my life that needs a solution. Whatever miracle I need in my life, there is a way to get it. Papa, what is the way? In the name of Jesus. Left to me, I will say 40 days fast. Left to me, I will say seven days white fast. But what is in your mind? What is your plan for me to be able to get this solution? Papa, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Tell oh Lord, whatever I need to do, whatever steps I need to take for ultimate victory, show me, oh Lord, show me, oh God, show me, oh Father, show me, oh Son, show me, oh Holy Ghost, whatever I need to do, whatever steps I need to take in order to get ultimate victory, in order to get complete victory, Papa, show me, Papa, reveal it to me, Papa, show me, Papa, reveal it to me, Papa, reveal it to me, Papa, reveal it to me, in the name of Jesus, whatever I need to do, oh God, whatever steps I need to take, oh God, in order to have ultimate complete victory, show me by fire, show me by fire, show me by fire, show me by fire. I hope you are praying where you are this evening. I want you to tell the Lord, open my ears to hear spiritual instructions. Open this, my ears, to hear spiritual instructions. Open this, my ears, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open my outer ears, open my inner ears, open my spiritual ears. Let me be able to hear spiritual instructions. What about my eyes? Papa, open my eyes, oh to see the way, to see the way out of my present situation. Father, open my eyes to see the way out of my present situation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open my ears, open my eyes, open my ears, open my eyes, open my ears, open my eyes. We can turn that into a song. In the name of Jesus, Father, open my ears to hear spiritual instructions. Open my eyes to see the way out of my present situation, of my present predicament. Lord, I have tried in the past to, to deliver myself. I've met with disappointment. I've met with embarrassment. Oh Lord, I don't want to be embarrassed again. I don't want to be disappointed again. That's why I'm not taking any step until you tell me what step to take, which foot to take forward, whether the left foot or the right foot, which direction to go, whether north or south or east or west. Papa, you know what is best for me. Open my ears. Let me hear. Open my eyes. Let me see. Open my ears. Let me hear. Open my eyes. Let me see the way out. Father, I just want the way out. There is a way of escape. In the name of Jesus. My way of escape out of poverty. My way of escape out of sickness. My way of escape out of warfare. My way of escape out of being kept from my Jericho. Papa, open my ears to hear the way of escape. Open my eyes to see the way of escape. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shall we pray another prayer this evening? Say, oh Lord, the same mercy. Yes. Say, oh Lord, the same mercy. 
Yes, say, oh Lord, the same mercy uh, that gives promises. Uh, let them always give me the procedure to every promise. Uh, Father, every promise you give me, oh God, uh, give me the procedure on how to possess it. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every prophetic utterance, uh, every word of God uh, that you seek to me, uh, that you show to me, uh, Father, show me the procedure. Father, show me the way. Father, show me the procedure. Father, show me the know-how. How do I get there? How do I get it? How do I proceed? Father, show me, O oh God. I am blind. I cannot see. Open my eyes. O oh Lord, you said, who is blind but my servants? Father, to know how to get there. To know how to get there, I don't know. But it was mercy that gave me the promise. The same mercy that gave me the promise. The same mercy that gave me the assurance. Oh Lord, let it show me the procedure. Let me show you how. Let me show you how. Let it show me how. The same mercy that showed me what it is. Let it show me how to get it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Say, oh Lord, let me never be denied strategies, methods that win. Methods that win. Strategies that win. Papa, methods that win. Strategies that win. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, all the fight that I need to fight, all the battles that I need to win, what are the, what are the strategies? What are the ways to win? Papa, reveal it. Papa, make it known. Papa, reveal it. Papa, make it known. Papa, reveal it. Papa, make it known. In the name of Jesus. Papa, let me never be denied. Oh God, let me never be denied. Whatever the strategies are, whatever the methods are, whatever step I need to take, whatever direction I need to go. Papa, counsel me. Papa, advise me. Papa, counsel me. Papa, advise me. Papa, please don't be quiet. Papa, please don't be quiet. If I've done anything wrong, please forgive me. Don't be quiet to me, oh God. Don't leave me, oh Lord, roaming around in the world aimlessly, achieving nothing. Papa, let me, have the, let me never be denied, oh Lord, the strategies that win, all that I am called to fight, every battle that I'm called to fight. Show me the strategies that win. Can I ask you to pray another prayer this evening. I hope you're praying where you are. Say, oh Lord, favor, 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 favor. Papa, favor me, favor me, favor me, favor me with clear instructions. Papa, favor me with clear instructions on what to do when I don't know what to do, oh Lord. Papa, many times when I look at my situation, I just throw my hand up and I say, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what direction to go. I want you to pray for clear directions tonight. I want you to pray for clear instructions tonight. Say, Papa, clearly instruct me, clearly direct me, clearly instruct me, clearly direct me, clearly instruct me, clearly direct me. Give me clear instruction. Favor me with clear directions. Give me with clear directions. Favor me with clear instructions on what to do when I don't know what to do, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Papa, show me what to do when I don't know what to do, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to tell the Lord that as divine instruction, divine direction, showed Moses how to turn bitter water to sweet water. It was divine direction that showed him what to do. Say, oh Lord, show me what to do. Papa, show me what to do to turn all bitter areas of my life into sweetness. In the name of Jesus, all bitter areas of my life, whatever I need to do to turn them into sweetness, Papa, change it to show me. Papa, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. In the name of Jesus, show me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, show me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, show me, oh God. Come on, open your mouth and pray. Let me sip it some water into my throat right here. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, Papa, show me what to do, oh Lord, that will turn all bitter areas in my life into sweetness, bitter areas in my marriage into sweetness, bitter areas in my money life into sweetness, monetary life, bitter areas in my profession, bitter areas in my health. Lord, how to turn it around. Papa, what I need to do, please, Papa, please, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you, Lord. Please, I'm 
are pleading with you, God, show me, reveal it, 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 show me, reveal it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the cry of Moses. Moses cried to God and said, God, everywhere is bitter. All the waters are bitter. I need direction. And you have his cry. Say, oh Lord, as the cry of Moses produces a solution. The cry of Moses produce solution. The cry of Moses produce solution. Let my cry right now, let my cry right now produce solution that will turn bitter to sweet, that will turn bitter to sweet as you did for Moses. As the cry of Moses, he said, Father, he said, Father, he said, this place is bitter. The people even want to kill me. Papa, you know my condition. Everything is so difficult. Everything is so bitter. Oh, Lord God. But I am crying to you tonight. As Moses cried to you. Oh, Lord, as Moses found favor in your eyes, let me find favor in your eyes. Papa, as Moses find favor in your eyes, let me find favor in your eyes. That will turn my situation around. In the name of Jesus. You know what I saw in that story and I said to you earlier. Mm. The stick was beside Moses there. The stick was there all the time. But he had no idea until God spoke. If he did not pray, if God did not speak, the tree will be there, the solution will be there, and yet the water will remain bitter. Say, oh Lord, whatever solution is so close to me that I don't know, that I don't see, whatever answer. <laughs> It's at my doorstep that I don't know, that I don't see. Papa, show me, show me, show me, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Whatever solution it is that is around me that I don't see. Whatever solution I have that is around me that I don't see, I don't know. Papa, reveal it. Papa, show it. Papa, reveal it, oh God. Papa, reveal it, oh God. Papa, show it to me, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord. Lord, you who opened the eyes of Moses and he saw the stake and the solution came, whatever it is around me that will bring solution to my issues, solutions to my problems, Papa, show me from tonight, show me right now, immediately, oh Lord, during this prayer meeting, let there be a revelation, let there be a manifestation of revelation to show me, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you know why I'm laughing? Because in ignorance, ignorance is bad. Oh, hey, the stick was there, the tree was there, but Moses was ignorant. I want you to pray, Lord, deliver me from ignorance. Papa, deliver me from ignorance. Say, I reject ignorance. Say, I reject ignorance. Say, I refuse ignorance. Ignorance of the solutions that are near me. Ignorance of the solutions that are far away from me. Ignorance of the solutions that will solve my problem. Papa, deliver me from not knowing. Deliver me from being ignorant. In the name of Jesus, spirit of ignorance, I curse you in my life. Spirit of ignorance, I rebuke you in my life. Spirit of ignorance, oh Lord, nobody knows but you. What you know, Lord, let me know. Papa, what you see, Lord, let me see. Papa, what will be the solution, let me know. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, can I ask you to pray that God will open your eyes to see the solution that are right there by you. Say, my father, open my eyes to see the solutions that are by me in my village, that are by me in my city, that are by me in my county, that are by me in my country. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there are solutions around you. Many of us are running in helter skelter. We take the airplane, we travel to Europe, when actually the solution is where you are living. I want you to pray tonight. Let me not run away from my solution. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes. Papa, open my eyes to the solutions that are right here by me. In the name of Jesus. I told you the people that couldn't get pregnant. The solution was a bottle of Fanta. Bottle of orange drink. I wanted to pray tonight. Ah! 
ah, these things are real. Father, whatever battle I'm fighting, whoever is behind it, and they are looking for something, something that I can afford. Papa, why don't you tell me? Papa, why don't you reveal it? Papa, why don't you make it known to me? If there's something I need to give somebody, if there is a sorry I need to say to somebody, if there is a blessing I need to give to somebody, I want you, Lord, to show me. I want you, Lord, to reveal it. I want you, Lord, to show me. I want you, Lord, to reveal it. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes. Open my eyes. I am too blind. Open my eyes. I am too blind. Open my eyes. I am too blind. Open my eyes. Oh, Lord, I am too blind. Let me see the solutions. Let me see the solutions that are right there by me, that are right here by me. Divine direction. Divine direction. People, open your mouth and pray tonight. Let's pray about our health right now. Do you know many of the sicknesses that we are carrying around? All we need is divine direction. You know, there's somebody that I read her story. She told it by herself. Her father was about to die of cancer. And then by divine direction, she was led to a fruit. It was a particular fruit that she gave her father. And within one week, the cancer disappeared by just eating that fruit alone. No other medication. And she has been on, he has been on chemotherapy. It did not work. All his hair was gone. It did not work. But by divine direction, just like the leprosy of Naaman, I want you to pray, oh Lord, show me the way of escape out of every health problem in my life. You've taken medication for years. It has not been solved. They've given you your day of your death. But you know there is a way out. Oh Lord, show me the way of escape out of every health problem that I have. You know, I have a friend in Nigeria. He was, he couldn't have a baby. They even came to me for prayer. But guess what happened a couple of months ago? She, he had triplets. And I was looking at the picture of the babies. I said, wow. This God has a solution. I've not met him yet to know what the solution was, but there was a solution he pursued, and God gave him the victory. Papa, show me the way of escape out of every health problem in my life. Papa, show me the way of escape. Pray, 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 pray tonight. We got just 12 more minutes. Papa, show me the way of escape out of every health problem. In the name of Jesus, mention the health problem that you have. Is it diabetes? Say, oh Lord, show me the way of escape out of this diabetes. Somebody might just come one day and give you a capsule, and that will be the end of it. Somebody might just give you one day and give you a, do this, do this, do that, and that will be the end of this, this diabetes that have troubled you for years. Say, oh Lord, direction, divine direction, cleanse the leprosy of Naaman, Papa. Give me divine direction to heal me and to remove every sickness out of my body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Naaman was not a Christian. Oh. Naaman was an unbeliever. Oh. And you told him what to do. I want you to tell God. Say, oh Lord, I know Naaman was an unbeliever. I know Naaman did not know you. But you told him what to do to be healed. Papa, do much more for me. I am a child of God. Oh Lord. If a Naaman could come to my father's house and get direction, uh -uh, how much more me? Papa, I come to your house today. I come to your presence today. I should give unbelieving Naaman direction. Papa, give your son direction. Papa, give your daughter direction from this affliction, from this sickness, from this attack. In the name of Jesus, say every sickness, give me, give me, give me solution. Every embarrassing sickness, every stubborn sickness, Sickness. Let it be conquered for me by divine direction, by divine guidance, by divine direction, by divine guidance. Every stubborn sickness in me, O oh God, let it be conquered. Every embarrassing sickness in me, O oh God, let it be conquered. Every form of sickness, every form of affliction in my body. Papa, heal me, O oh God. Deliver me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. You know what the Bible says, and I love it so much. He says the skin of Naaman was restored, looking like a new baby. Isn't that beautiful? I want you to pray. Say, Lord, lead me to solutions that will bring my health to a place of restoration. 
say, my father, lead me to solutions that will bring my health to a place of restoration. Open your mouth and fire prayers. Oh, Lord Jesus, let me, lead me, lead me, lead me to solutions that will bring me health restoration. Give me solutions that will bring me health restoration. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me divine direction that will bring me, O oh Lord, to a place of complete solution, a place of complete restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Papa, lead me to men, lead me to women who by inspiration will be able to tell me what to do, or better still, Papa, tell me by yourself. It was Elisha that God used to talk to Naaman. God can use a man of God for you. God can use a woman of God for you. Or better still, God can talk to you directly. I want you to pray, Lord, whichever way you want to use, whichever method you want to use directly or through your mediums. I'm talking about through spiritual, godly, and God-fearing people. Oh, Lord, show me what to do. Speak to me, oh God. Oh, Lord, show me what to do. Give me direction, oh God. Can I ask you to pray? Again, the prayer we prayed earlier. Say, open my eyes. Say, open my ears. Say, oh Lord, open my eyes. Open my understanding to know what and what to do to easily get to my promised land. Papa, open my eyes. Open my ears. Open my understanding to know what to do to easily get to my promised land. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Papa, you have to help us with this next prayer. Let me give you another prayer point. Say, my Lord, deliver me. Say, deliverer, deliver me. Say, deliverer, deliver me. From trying this and trying that in search of solutions. Oh, Lord, my God, deliver me from just trying this and trying that in search for solutions and not getting solutions. Papa, deliver me from just trying this and trying that, looking for solutions. Oh, Lord, let me not just be beating around the bush, looking for solution where there is no solution. People getting my money, people get in my time and they don't give me solution when God can give me solution. Papa, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Talk to me directly. God spoke to him directly to Joshua. Papa, speak to me directly in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from being deceived by some so-called people that say they can hear from God and they are not hearing from God and they are giving instructions to people. Papa, I'm tired. Give me your own instructions in the name of Jesus, because your instruction will work. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. When the axe head was lost, divine the instruction delivered it, recovered it. The axe head, when they were cutting the tree, the axe head fell, but divine instruction recovered it. What was the divine instruction? Throw the stick and the iron will swim. And when you follow this divine instruction, you get miracle. Say, oh Lord, my God. Say, oh Lord, my God. Let divine direction lead me to how to get whatever I have lost. Many of us have lost things. Oh, hey, spiritual things, monetary things, marital things, health things. I want you to pray, Lord, give me divine directions that will help me to get whatever I have lost in the name of Jesus. What is it that you have lost? Why don't you talk to God about it tonight and say, God, I have lost this, I have lost this, I have lost that, and I want them back. Where are the directions? What are the instructions that will give me the things I have lost? Papa, release it to me. Papa, release it to me. Papa, release it to me. You know, the axe head, the axe was a professional implement, was a professional implement by those who do woodwork. I want you to pray, divine that direction, divine direction, divine direction, in my profession, divine direction, whatever is important to my profession, whatever is important to my profession, that I have lost, whatever is important to my direct, my, my, my profession, that I have lost, show me the way to be reconnected to it, show me the way to get it back, show me the way to have it back, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, all that 
that I have ever lost, all that I have ever lost, divine direction, divine direction, show me how to find them, 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 all that I have ever lost, all that I have ever lost, professionally lost, spiritually lost, materially lost, economically lost, business wise, all that I have ever lost in all areas of my life, I have lost some things, you have lost some things, just like the axe head, but divine direction can lead you, can bring it back into your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone and anyone on this prayer line tonight, I pray for you, I decree for you, all that you have ever lost, in the name of Jesus, may you find them by divine direction. Oh God of heaven, send down direction to this man, send down direction to this woman, so they can recover, so they can recover, so they can recover, so they can recover all that they have lost professionally, all that they have lost spiritually, all they have lost maritally, all they have lost materially, all they have lost economically, all they have lost business-wise. Many of you during the pandemic, you lost a lot of money. God can recover it for you. He can show you this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do. Papa, show me what 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 to do. Ha! head is supposed to sink but in this case hallelujah oh axe head began to swim axe head began to swim Ay-ya. say oh lord divine instruction that trigger dumbfounding miracles divine instruction that trigger uncommon miracles oh lord that can make an axe head to swim papa grant it to me papa grant it to us papa grant it to me papa grant it to us in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Dumbfounding miracle, uncommon miracle that will make the impossible to happen, that will make the impossible to be possible, that will make an axe head to swim. Papa, let me experience it. Papa, let me, yeah, let me experience it, oh God. Let me experience it, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, grant me such miracles, oh Lord. Clay in the eyes. Ah, Jesus. You are a wonderful Jesus. Clay in the eyes. That's it, oh. That's divine instruction. Wash in the pool of Siloam. That's all. Oh, bright eyes began to open and began to be seen. I want you to pray, Lord, give me specific, 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 a multiple direction. Give me specific, a multiple directives. Give me specific, a multiple directives where necessary to solve the problems of my life. Papa, I must confess to you, the problems of my life, they are many. It's like I'm the only one, but I know. If you give me specific instructions and multiple directions, I will get victory. I will get miracle. Papa, give it to me. Papa, give it to me. Father, give it to me. Son, give it to me. Holy Ghost, give it to me. Say, my father, show me what is in your mind as the way out to my problems. Show me what you have in your mind. Papa, don't keep your mind away from me, I beg. Papa, don't keep have mercy on me. Papa, be kind to me. Papa, be gracious to my daughter. My daughter is old enough to get married. My son is old enough to get married. Papa, what is going on? I pray that you will show me what is in your mind. In the name of Jesus, as the way out to my problems. In the name of Jesus. Let me give you one more prayer point, and then we'll be done tonight. Say, my father, as your strategy did not fail Joshua. Mm. It did not fail Moses. Mm. It did not fail Neymar. Mm. It did not fail the black, the blind man. Say, oh Lord, as your strategy did not fail them, show me what and what to do that will never fail me. Come on, open your mouth and talk to God tonight. Say, show me what and what I must do that will not fail. Papa, show me the strategy. Show me the method that will not fail. Your method did not fail Joshua. Your method will not fail me. Show me. Your method did not fail Moses. Your method will not fail me, Papa. Show me. Your method did not fail Elisha. Your method will not fail me to show me. Your method did not fail Naaman when he obeyed. The axe head swam. Father, show me what and what to do that will never fail me. In the name of Jesus, say I receive it. I receive divine instruction. I receive divine direction. From this day on, I shall know what to do to get into my promised land. Come on, begin to say, Lord, I bless you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I adore you. Lord, I glorify 
by you for the answer that you have given me tonight. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Everybody said amen and amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May the prayers that you have prayed tonight open the doorway to what to do and what not to do. May you get clear crystal direction that will solve your problem so easily like it did at the walls of Jericho. May God open your ears, may God open your eyes. Whatever devils have blocked you from seeing the solution, I command them to move out of your way right now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. A few announcements before I let you go. Service on Sunday is at 10 a.m. in our church in the coins. Did I say the coins? Maybe I'm turning it into the Bronx. Well, in Queens, New York, you know where we meet 10 a.m. in the morning. Online service is at 10.30 in the morning. You don't want to miss my message for this coming Sunday. You know what the title is? Stop them before they stop you. Yeah, that it is. Stop them. You got to stop these people before they stop you. Beautiful, powerful message. I got it from a revival we held in New York many years ago. It's going to be a blessing to you, 10.30 online. Sunday school as usual is 3 p.m. Our teachers are standing by to bless your soul. Wednesday Bible study, always a time of refreshing. It's at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And don't forget next Thursday. Don't forget next Friday. I'll be back again with you by the grace of God. The title of our theme, the theme, did I say the title of our theme? The theme for our program for next Thursday and next Friday is called Negative Expectations. You know there are people that have negative expectations about you, negative expectations about me, and they're expecting this bad thing to happen, that bad thing to happen. It's a lie. Their expectations shall fall down flat. Whoever wishes evil to happen to you, it will be turned to good for you. Join us. That will be next Thursday, next Friday, 7 p.m. New York time. You're going to be blessed. Those are all the announcements. Shall we share the grace before we call it a night? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And amen. Go and rest for the evening and receive your great strategies for victory. Bye-bye.